Can a cruise ship survive a Category 5 hurricane? Imagine it if you dare. Category 5 hurricane. A monster storm with winds reaching 157 miles per hour sweeps across the ocean, leaving destruction in its wake. Now imagine that you are faced with this incomprehensible force on board a cruise ship. It makes your stomach turn, doesn't it? But don't be afraid to share what happens when a cruise ship encounters the power of a Category 5 hurricane. When a cruise ship encounters a Category 5 hurricane, it's like stepping into a boxing ring with a heavyweight champion. The cruise ship will be thrown violently and rocked from one side to the other by the wind and waves. This turbulent tango can lead to hull failure, severe structural damage and alarming flooding on the vessel. In this case, we cannot be bothered by the interior of the ship. A storm surge, a massive wall of water up to 50 feet high, can wash over decks, causing damage to a ship's equipment. If you are on board during a storm, you may see the crew spring into action. They will batten down the hatches, secure anything that could become a projectile of danger, and take passengers to safety. In the worst case scenario, the ship will have to weather a storm at sea. Not exactly a pleasant experience, but crucial for everyone's safety. Worst case scenario. When the unthinkable happens in the worst case scenario, a cruise ship could sink during a hurricane. But before you cancel all your future cruise plans, know that this is highly unlikely. Cruise ships are built like fortresses. They boast stability, seaworthiness and a host of safety features to help them survive even the harshest storms. Now let's take a closer look at the sequence of events when a cruise ship encounters a Category 5 hurricane. First, strong rocking on the ship. Imagine being on a roller coaster that doesn't stop. You are thrown from side to side, up and down. It's a wild ride, not a fun one. Second, potential hull breaches and flooding. The hull can withstand wind and wave impacts, which will create holes through which water can leak. This is the last thing we want as it could cause the ship to sink. Third, overloaded ship decks and equipment. A storm surge can sweep across a ship's decks, damaging vital equipment. Fourth, passengers were rushing to safety. The crew directed everyone to the safest parts of the ship, perhaps the lower decks or lifeboats. Fifth, possible forced stay at sea. If the storm proves too strong for the ship, it may have to wait it out at sea. Sixth, slight chance of sinking. This is an alarming thought, but it is a possibility. If the ship takes too much damage, it may sink. Despite these alarming possibilities, remember that the safety of passengers and crew remains the top priority for any cruise line. And while cruise ships are designed to withstand these powerful storms, there are always risks. In the unlikely event that you find yourself on board a ship during a hurricane, listen to the crew's instructions and remain in designated safe areas. Besides all this, several other unforeseen circumstances could arise from this stormy meeting. The ship may veer off course. Power may be lost. The ship may have been separated from its lifeboats. The ship could have gotten stuck at sea. Passengers could be injured or worse. As grim as these scenarios may seem, they highlight the importance of awareness and preparation. To stay safe during these challenging times, follow these tips. Listen to the crew's instructions. Stay in designated safe areas. Follow evacuation procedures. Be prepared for power outages and other problems. Have a plan in case you find yourself at sea. You might think, gee, I may never set foot on a cruise ship again. But before you let fear take over, let's bring some reality to this conversation. It is important to understand that it is extremely unlikely that you will be caught in a hurricane while on a cruise. Well, there are several reasons. To begin with, hurricanes usually follow a predictable path. Thanks to the wonders of modern meteorology, these powerful storms can be tracked days and sometimes weeks before they strike. This gives cruise ships enough time to adjust their routes and stay away from the danger zone. Moreover, hurricanes are not the most invisible of natural disasters. They are usually slow, which again gives valuable time for evasion. The cruise industry also has strict hurricane season policies, often avoiding certain areas during peak hurricane seasons. So, while the debate may have sounded a little like a thrilling summer blockbuster, the reality is far less dramatic. In fact, 
the likelihood of your cruise vacation turning into a whirlwind adventure is extremely low. Remember, cruise lines are in the business of creating happy memories, not navigating Category 5 hurricanes.